So this is his teaching, right? In our tradition, Isa alayhi salam, uh, he is he's teaching them the deception of this world, not to be fooled by this world. So he says, the similitude of this world is like a man lost at sea, right? He's lost, like, imagine someone who's lost at sea on a boat, and he says, he starts taking handful after handful of sea water into his mouth. The more he drinks, the thirstier he gets, and then he dies from it. This is the nature of the dunya. He says, the nature of the dunya is like an old haggard prostitute who has to uh, hide in alleyways, and she sticks her hand out, and it's bejeweled. It's got rings and bracelets and so on and so forth, and she waves men into the alleyway. And the men come, and then she slaughters them. Such is the dunya. Isa and these are hadith in our, in our tradition. He says to his disciples, he says, uh, so the disciples come to him and say, how is it that you can walk on water? And he said, bring me three objects. And they said, what? He said, gold, stones, and dirt. And they bring these three objects. And he says, put them here. And then he says to the Hawari and the disciples, what do you say about these things? And they said, the gold is better than stones, and stones are better than dirt. He says, they're all the same to me. If you can understand the secret of that, you can walk on water. You can break customary physics. He was walking with his Hawariyun, and he was like the Prophet he would actually walk behind the Sahaba. He said, leave my back for the Malaika. Right? So Isa alayhi salam is walking behind the Hawariyun. They're walking sort of in a barren like wasteland. And he notices the disciples, they stop and they're looking at something. And they start covering their, their mouth like this, their noses, they say, oh, like this. And they look, and it's a decomposing carcass of a dog. Right? And they say, how revolting. And then Isa alayhi salam, he looks at it and he says, Ma abiyada asnana. And he walks away. <laughs> how white are its teeth? What does that mean? It means that Isa alayhi salam, he saw the beauty. He managed to find something beautiful, even in this very, very ugly, nasty, <coughs> rotting thing. Like in our tradition, we don't have this idea of him attacking the Pharisees and things like that, right? Probably something like that inevitably happened because he would engage in debates, no doubt. But in our tradition, we have the Pharisees walking by him and they start saying something about him. They start saying something about his, his mother, Maryam alayhi salam. And then Isa alayhi salam, he looks at them and he just says, Wa alaykum as salam, wa alaykum as salam. And the Hawariyun, and they say, why didn't you defend yourself? Uh, and he said, a vessel only overflows its contents. Wow. Right? Wow. It's like, I don't even, because they were insulting him. You can imagine what they were saying. So it's, it, that's not a civil debate. If you want to debate, we'll debate, but they're insulting me. And I don't have that in me. I can't even do that. Right? Um, <clears throat> so this, this is the essence of his teaching. And unfortunately, the essence of his teaching is completely corrupted. For, for the most part, I should say completely.